What's up guys, Mr. Zebra Gamer here with the first part ever of A Shot in the Dark. Now, what this series is, is each every one day of each week, I will be uploading a game that I've never played before, and I'm going to try to do it every day, of, like one day of each week. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to stick to that, but today I have tried, and I've never played this game before, but I've had my eye on it for a while. So why don't we just try it out here? Just pick the first empty slot. You can. This is the PC version. You can get this game through Steam and the PSN and Xbox. Far away, a kingdom was prospering, but peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But something was about to happen that would change the course of history. Hmm, interesting. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Wow. That's interesting. I like that. The quality of that's really nice. How it's... That voice acting. I like the voice acting. That's good. And just the artistry is nice, too. That's really good detail. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. So right now, I guess we're in a female archer. Apparently, she's a thief from what that story is saying. The graphics look very nice in this game. I like this. Alright, so apparently we have a grappling hook here. We can grapple around. I apologize if the frame rate's not 100% perfect. Um, it's mostly because I'm new to this PC gaming stuff, and that's a fist. I sort of expected that to... Oh, hold on. I guess... <laughs> I was about to say, I expected that to fall on me. smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. Interesting. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of money. Alright, let's open this chest up here. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. Alright, so this is pretty cool. I know you can play as multiple characters, I'm not sure if it's like three or four. How many it really is, but this is pretty cool. You beat a wizard too, I think there's a warrior or something. And he's all like might and strength, he's peak like, you know, this guy is magic and then you know, the archer is all precision-based, sneaking around, and this box gonna fall on my head. Mushroom should come out of it now. Alright, so, I'm guessing here I could... 
build the blocks up and play a little Legos. Play some Legos here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's not gonna stay. Huh. Oh, I don't have to be right next to the object to pick it up. That's pretty cool. That works out pretty well. Whoa. <laughs> Thing looks like it's about to fall over. I can't move around. The, so, I guess it does have a flaw. So what's up here? What's kind of free stuff? I don't know what that is, but apparently there's 50 of them to collect. I don't know if that's in the level or throughout the game. So far, this game looks awesome. If you haven't noticed, it's a platformer, and I love platformers, so this will be awesome. That's another gigantic fist. So let's see what else we have awaiting for us over here. Looks like another one of those green bottles. Oh no, we're trapped! Now we have over here a button. Now I'm guessing something spectacular happened if but both buttons are pressed. So let's see if we can use our magic to close the buttons or something. Hard to see, really, what's up there. Alright, to draw a square. I really should read this text. Whoa, that is cool. So with that, we could leave. But that is interesting how you can do that. I like that a lot. Aw, oh, you can only have one at a time. What a bummer. Yeah. Okay, let's make this a little closer. I am a bit of a completionist, so I'm going to try to get these. Then I guess we can make yet another square. Can I just make like a gigantic one? Nah, I have a set size, sad face. Can I get up there from here? It doesn't appear so. Alright then. Pretty cool. I guess we'll just ignore that. The wizard saw a glimmering light coming from the shrine. No one had been able to visit it for centuries because of the ancient magic protecting whatever lay inside. Oh, and yet again we're at the treasure. My golly, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you're holding out? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills. To battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant, but this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was also for anything unusual. This is interesting, so pretty much it's a story, this first level. It's a story about how these three people come together. I don't know if they're bad guys, good guys, or whatever. But it sure is interesting. I'm liking this game so far. It's cool. Like I, I like platformers a lot, so it's cool to see this. And it's narrated story stuff. It's almost like Little Big Planet in that sense. How it has like narrated as you go. I know, uh, you know, Little Big Planet isn't completely like that, but it has narration and it has like that British voice to it and that charm, which I see this game has a lot of charm, and I like it. I'll probably finish up this first level and then be done for this first episode. I don't know if that was the warrior guy talking. What's going on? I would not know what's going on. The world is falling apart. It's the end of the world. Faint light coming from the age-old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the night's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. What's going on? 
I joined in, taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. All right. Our new heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. The wizard tried hard to remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. The treasure, the ancient object, was a device that could bind souls together. How it worked, he did not know. But he knew that it was connected to the legend of the Guardian, whose earthly remains had been buried in the catacombs deep underneath the Astral Academy. The tomb resided right below the shrine. The wizard could not explain it, but he was sure the object was called the Trine. The knight didn't care. A more pressing concern was on his mind. All right, that's very interesting. I'll, I, I see I, I'm going to like this game. Um, that's it for the first episode of A Shot in the Dark. Now, I will not be continuing trying, yet this is how it's going to happen. Is Next next episode, I'll try out another game, and we're going to see how it works out in that type of sense. So, uh, thank you guys for watching the first episode of A Shot in the Dark, and I'll, be, I'll make sure to see you guys in the second part. Um, yes, I'll definitely be playing more trying. See ya, and thanks for watching.